I'm going to show you how to do gets and posts to a, a fire server for the HL7 fundamentals course fire activity. And we're going to be using this apogee.com site and it has some APIs built in but we're just using the generic other one because fire is not built into this website. Now the drop down here has the different verbs get is currently set there. I'm going to get the URL to talk to from the activity and we're being, we're being asked for patient ID 5 so I'm going to copy that and paste it into the website here and I'll append the, the patient 5 onto the end of the base URL for the fire server. Now you just need to press send that sends a get request to that website one website talking to another and it comes back with OK. Now you can see some information followed by the patient resource as XML. That's the data you're looking for. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into a file for presentation. Let's just make a new file in Explorer. And let's give it a, a good file name so we can see which part of the activity it is. Task 1, it's patient 5 and it's the XML version. We'll be doing the JSON version, version shortly. So let's paste that in from the clipboard. Give it a quick review, make sure we've not missed off the beginning or end. That looks good. Save that. And we can do the next part of the activity. So we're also being asked here for the JSON version. So we get that again in a similar fashion. Um, on the end of our URL, we put the magic format word in for the JSON format. Format equals JSON. Still using get, just the same as before. Get is the way to read resources. And you can see some differently structured data now with uh, curly brackets rather than angle brackets and that is JSON format. We also get OK there so we'll copy all of that down to the very end including the last brace otherwise it won't match properly. Copy that make another file give that a good name And then open that file with return and paste in our JSON. Again, just check that's all in there. Closing bracket at the end, open bracket at the top, resource patient. It's the right patient, new Neville Nuclear. And we'll save that. Yeah, you can see the name structured there. Let's save that. And then on to the next part of the activity. So next task two is to add demographics to a, a copy of that resource and save it to the server. And save is a post activity in HTTP terms. So let's copy that file. Let's give it a better name for now. Task 2, so the uh, person marking this will be able to tell them apart easily. And it's no longer going to be patient 5 once it gets saved, so we'll remove that number. And then let's open that file and make a suitable change. I'm using Notepad, you could use an XML editor. I, I normally would use an XML editor, but because there are different ones, I'm just going to use Notepad here. So we've got Johnny Test in the text version of the resource and Johnny test in the structured version of the resource and let's save that in fact to post this resource I need to copy it into the web page so I'll reopen it select it all there it is 
is. Let's do an edit, select all the whole contents. Yeah. And then edit copy. And then we can flick to our web page. Now we did a get to read and now we need to do a post to create a new resource. And we don't specify an ID. This is where the server is going to assign the ID. So we just post to the patient address and it will create the ID for us. Now because this is a a post you have to send it some data rather than just read some data. So I've used the body part here. I've pasted that content in that I edited. Let's just check at the top here. Yeah it's Johnny Test. And we hit send and it's a post operation. Now we get a different response this time in green there we get the the word created comes back 201 status and it's created. It's a good sign. And you can see down on the left in the headers comes back a resource and the ID it is assigned comes back in this URL here in the headers. So you can see that long newly assigned number. So I'm going to copy that URL, paste it back and, that, and do a get from that URL and we can check that what we posted really is there. So it's a get from the number that was assigned to it and as before we get a 200 and an OK and our XML comes back down below. So I'm going to copy that and that can be saved into a new file as the second part of the exercise.